Hello, everyone. First, I want to thank all the new subscribers and all the support I've been getting from a lot of people. By the way, I do not know if all you new subscribers know that the way my channel works is through questions. And if you ask me a question, I'd be more than happy to answer it to the best of my ability. And uh, I am different in that aspect for most channels because I just will not make a video if there is no topic that is brought up by a subscriber or a friend or somebody that I know. And like I said, it's all based on you and what you want to know. I am quite happy uh, today uh, because it is a beautiful, rainy, humid day and there's water everywhere. And we really do not pay attention to the quality of water Sorry, we do not pay attention to the substance of water because we take it for granted. There is no coincidence that our body is mostly made up of water. The earth is mostly made up of water. The sun at 10 million plus degrees has water on it. Our solar system is completely engulfed in water. Now, water is a very powerful force, not just in our galaxy, but in our whole entire universe. It's also a very powerful force in the many dimensions that consciousness exists on. It's hard to explain because there is so little known about the correlation of vibration and water. Water is an excellent conductor, for example. If a dolphin is swimming in the ocean and it is echoing whatever it's saying, it is communicating with another dolphin through a very long way, many miles in distance. Whales, the same thing. Now, a squid that has different colors to it. Is color not a form of vibration, a form of resonance? And does that not does that does that not carry far in the darkness when something is flashing and to attract the mate or to attract prey to eat so water and the vibration that it carries with it is very very important in consciousness as well think of atoms bouncing around everywhere and what we're observing is actual light Guess what? Water carries with it various elements. And these elements, depending on the realm of consciousness, could be very light or could be very heavy. The water here on Earth is completely programmed and completely uh, utilized by its environment. What is this environment? We are part of that environment. Our thoughts and our heart rhythms create the atmosphere for that water to flourish, for the water to be contaminated, for that water to be able to provide us with the nutrition that we need in order to survive. What nutrition am I talking about? Well, I am not a believer of dark matter does not exist in my eyes or my opinion because melanin, not the stuff that creates a skin pigment, but a form of melanin is what holds it all together in ether. And it's a very dark, gooey, watery substance. And that nutrition that we 
feed off his melanin with an E at the end. That's another topic. But this dark substance that we cannot see, we cannot observe, and we cannot comprehend spans through our dimensional realm. Other dimensional realms and is vast throughout multi universes because that is sort of the glue that holds it all together. And without water and the energy of water, that cannot happen, that cannot come to fruition because matter is dense. There's other matter that is so light. But just as conscious as you are, if not higher in consciousness, that melanin is the only thing that is providing its consciousness. So the density of water and the extreme presence of water is what creates the abundant realm for an expression of energy. It's hard to comprehend. But vibrationally speaking, water is one of the creator's best friends. <laughs> and without water, there is no substance. There is no non-substance. It's very, very powerful vibrationally and very, very powerful etherically. Okay. So I wanted to share that with you all today because there is a resonance of change amongst us. And for the next um, 20 years or so, an evolution of sort will happen from within first, where we will go back inwards instead of expressing everything outwards. And when this happens, well, when it happens. Eventually, the matter that we are composed of will also trans transform into an existence of matter that we are more um, electrically bound to. So the importance of water and the importance of vibration are very much understated, ignored, and taken for granted. But there are specific reasons why everything has water involved with it. Anyways, I thank you for watching. You have a wonderful, peaceful, wisdom-filled day. Be healthy and be wealthy. Peace to you, my friends.